Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw, and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you already exist, then hi guys, welcome back. So today's video, obviously it's in the title, is what's in my bag. I have just dumped the contents of my bag out on the table. As you know, I can't edit, and Bertie was scratching up the door. He wanted to come in, I just thought, you know what? Just have a little pause a minute. Let him in because he needs a little bit of water as well. And I just thought, can you fill up some water for him? And then by the time I come back, I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll just start again. There's no point that she just you sitting there waiting for 10 minutes while I go and fill his dog belt up. Um, so the video today is what's inside my bag. Now, a bit of a random one, really. I got really highly requested to do this video. Either you're really, really like nosy or you're strange. A bit like me, though, because I really like seeing these kind of videos. So... Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. I know some of the things I carry in my bag are a little bit strange, but I'm a little bit strange, so what does it matter? Let's get ourselves a little hot drink and some snacks. Mine's a cup of tea in my Emma Bridgewater Mum mug. And I just wanted to say thank you as well. I've had lots of messages from you guys saying like, oh, you know, are you okay? I've been away for two weeks. I've just not really felt it, if I'm completely honest. Um, I felt a bit low. I think everyone has during this time. It's just, it's really hard for everybody. And I just always have said this is a hobby. I'm only going to do it when I feel like I want to do it and it's fun. And I just weren't feeling it the last two weeks. But I'm feeling it again and I'm back now. And I've got a few videos coming. It was my birthday on Sunday. Um, and that was really lovely. And we also painted the kitchen. So we have been doing things. I've just not been feeling sorry for myself. Like the whole two weeks, like most of them. <laughs> um, so I painted the kitchen and I also painted the really ugly PVC door. So that will be up tomorrow and I'll show you how I did that with the special primer that I used. And I've got a few highly requested videos. So I'm gonna just do them videos that I've been requested, the ones that come up the most. So you wanted this and you also wanted to see my Emma Bridgewater collection of pottery. So I'm gonna be doing that this week as well. And I'm happy to say that the try-ons are finally coming back. I'm gonna be doing online brands or supermarkets if I'm getting my essentials. But this was off of Next Online, and I've got a little um, trial haul coming up on Sunday, which I'm really excited about. I just bought a few bits from the Next Sale, dresses, really, really beautiful, and I'm going to show them as well. So, let's get into the video, two and a half minutes in, eh? Um, so, as I said, I've tipped out my bag. I was explaining, this is my only designer bag that I actually own. I've got a few that are like designer that my mum bought me from. Mongolia, I was going to say Mongolia, but Mongolia is a genuine place, but you know what I'm saying, they're not genuine, um, they look really good, but this is my only one, this is Martin the Mulberry, I absolutely love Martin the Mulberry, and the reason I love him is because I got it for my birthday about five years ago, he's kept up really well, he smells amazing, and yeah, he's massive, so I can fit loads and loads of junk inside it. It's a bit of a running joke, really, in my house, like people are like Gary, especially, I'll go, oh, it's in my bag, and he just gets this impending look of doom, like... Have I actually got to look through your bag for that? And he just hands me the bag. And I find it within seconds. But I've always got so much stuff in my bag. Could be a girl thing. Could be a mum thing. Could just be me. <laughs> Who knows? So the first things I've got in my bag, I think everyone kind of has these things in their bag. Well, you know, everyone has a purse. So I've always got a purse with me. It's my tiny little Carvella purse. I did have a bigger purse, but I used to find it used to have loads of card sections. So I'd have my driving license with me. I'd have every different like card for shops and stuff, bank cards, and I just thought my whole life is in here. If I literally lose this, I lose everything. So I just have like one for cash and coins, and I always keep my my bank card inside my phone case, which isn't there now, so that's a bit worrying, a bit alarming. I don't know where my bank card is. Um, but yeah, I've always got my purse in there. I've always got my car keys and my house keys. I did have a lovely big leather tassel on there, but Bertie got hold of them and chewed it off. So never mind. So I've just got my car keys. And my house key, my front door key on there. And also, you might know this if you watch my videos, I do suffer quite bad with migraines. So when I always go out, I always take my little contact lens solution pots and a pair of glasses in case I need to take my contact lenses out. And these are literally the best tablets in the world, the Panadol Advance. I like the red packet because they're the extra advance. They work even quicker. Um, but these are really good for migraines. So obviously, if you suffer with migraines, go to your doctor about it. But this is just something that works for me. My relief don't even work for me, but this seems to work for me. Um, so, got those on the go. Also, I don't know if this is just me, but I have like bags of stuff that I put inside my bag. That might be really random. I've always got like, it isn't normally this bag. I changed this up to make it bigger like a couple of months ago, but normally it would have been just this one. Um, so this one's a little cuff kits and makeup bag and I just keep all of my womanly bits in here. 
my warm windy bits. <laughs> so, you know, like the court shawl, got some sandwich towels in there. An Avon mascara. Can't be without an Avon mascara, say this down. I've also got some little pack of hair clips in my bag. You know, you always need a hair clip. Why is it these literally go missing? This was filled up from Primark and they just go. That's all I've got left. Literally, and I'm the only one that uses them in my house, but they just seem to go missing. And I've always got like a nice big clip in my bag as well. Oh, <laughs> a little bit embarrassing. I'll show you one thing first because I'm getting a bit red, a bit embarrassing. But I'm very conscious of the earth. So I've got some little disposable bags that I stole from my hotel room. <laughs> Ones. I haven't actually had a period in five years, but these are just for other people. You know, like if you're out and someone's like, oh, I'm caught a shawl in the toilet, so I'm just like, pow. I've got special paper disposable bags, like I said, that I stole from my hotel room once. And I've got some tennis shells, which I purchased myself, um, but they're in my bag. <laughs> and then this, this is just literally so embarrassing. I don't know why it's in there. I don't actually use this. I don't actually use this. Some Femme Fresh vaginal deodorant. <laughs> Right, all jokes on you if you genuinely think I use fanny deodorant, right? But this is, did I just say fanny on camera? Now, this is extremely flammable, so you don't want to be getting yourself into any spicy situations with this one, put it that way, right? But this actually is not internal, so when they say, you know, it's normally like, you know, you get dressed, you put your deodorant on while you've got your bra and your knickers on. And while you've already got your knickers on, you're just like, shh, under your dress. That's me. That's what I thought it for. Do you know what I mean? Not that I actually need vaginal deodorant. It's just like, I'm in super drug, and I'm that girl that literally walks down your eyes and go, oh, what's that? Travel size vag deodorant. It reminds me of, um, what's it? Me, myself, and Irene, when he's on the tail, he's like, vagisil, vagisil. <laughs> that stays at the bottom of my bag. That literally stays in there, unzipped to the bottom, so like no one. Can you imagine if that fell out? Imagine that fell out and you had a potential suitor and your fanny badge spray fell out. That'd be like humiliating. It's lucky that I'm married and Gary don't know about this. <laughs> Can you imagine? He'd be like, why have you got vaginal deodorant? Let's get past that. It's too embarrassing. Right. I've also got a little lip balm that I got one Christmas out of Millie's advent calendar. She got like 10 of these. Like we bought a super drug advent calendar and it literally was just all lip balms. It was like two years ago. It's probably expired now, but I still use it. And it's vanilla and cocoa bean, and it's got lipstick on it as well. Oh, nice and tasty. Now, I tend to put it on after my lipstick, so I have put my lipstick. I think my lipstick might be in this bag. Oh, yeah, it's in this one. So I've got my top lipstick by MAC, and then I tend to put my little lip balm on over the top. So if I'm out on my lipstick, because I don't stop talking and drinking Pepsi and stuff, my lipstick comes off quite a bit, so I've always got them in my bag for a little top up. And a little Avon mascara, which I'm sure is completely dried up, so I haven't actually used this in years. And um, it's just, yes, yeah, it's dry, so that needs throwing. Um, but I don't normally top up my mascara. I well, obviously never top up my mascara when I'm out. And I do tend to leave bits of stuff in my bag as well, so I don't actually clear my bag out. So we'll put that in the bin section, we'll say. We'll also put in the bin section a lid um, from a bottle of poison that's empty. So I just took the bottle out and got the lid, and I've got a full bottle of poison now. Um, in there, so we'll have a little spray off. This is actually my scent, Dior Poison. I absolutely love this. I know it's a little bit musky, but clearly I like musky smells. I've got vag deodorant, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> the same for me. So also, running a bit low on the old sanitizer. I've always had sanitizer in my bag. I don't know what it is. I think it's when you've got small children and you know they're touching anything. There isn't always somewhere they can wash their hands. You go over to the park and they pick up a stick that looks a bit wet. You're like, what are you gonna do? So you've always got baby wipes, wipe the hands down, sanitizer. But I can't get my hands on none of this at the moment, as I know no one else can. So we've got some sanitizer. Oh, I've also got a little trolley coin in there. I didn't know that was in there, because the other week when I went to Asda, I actually had to have like two baskets. Really annoying, really heavy, like walking around, put them down when I got the stuff. Didn't know that bad boy was in there, because I didn't have no coins on me. Now I know it's in here. I absolutely love this. Gary's auntie got me this one Christmas, and it's by the company Bagman and Robin. For such a cute name. Um, but it's very like a trendy sort of London company, and they use all vintage fabrics and make these cute little purses. Um, so I've got that in there. Some like cracker nail clippers I've got out of a Christmas cracker. Who doesn't need nail clippers? I find they're really good when you get threads on clothes and stuff to cut them off. Oh, and I've got a little Mac freebie. Fix it. Face spray. It's 
always good to have guys let's put them in there also in my bag i'm always carrying a deodorant with me and a hand cream so the hand cream i'm currently using at the moment i think i've already said this actually yeah i think i've already said this it's kath kitson so the patchouli one but i really hate that it's in a metal thing because when you like squeeze it it's it goes all dented and weird. I know that's not an, an important thing, but it just irritates me. And then I've got two mirrors. The reason I've got two mirrors in my bag is because this one was already in there, a little cap kits and one. I didn't know it was already in there. And I've been using this one since Christmas. So my mum got me this one, a little Olivia Burton one, which I think is so cute. And it goes with my little like bee earrings. I'm loving Olivia Burton stuff. Funny enough, I say that. My little watch is Olivia Burton. I love Olivia Burton stuff. Um, and I've got this in here. Now, this goes without saying why I've got a mirror in my bag. I don't need it to check my lipstick or my makeup. I am a bogeyophobe. So, whenever I talk to someone new, I genuinely always feel like I've got a bogey. It's really weird. I'll, I'll be feeling really confident. I could have just checked my nose and literally walking around in a supermarket, boom, you run into someone that you know, they start talking to me. I'm like, how many you have? Like, trying to talk downwards because I think, God, I've got a bogey. That's the first thing that comes into my mind when I see someone. It's like, Boom, I've got a bogey. So, have a little mirror. But the, the key is this, right? So this is a little tip. If you're a bogey phobe, or you know, it's got a sank in your teeth, a phobe, that kind of thing. Always have a mirror in your bag. I always place my mirror in this little pocket here. And what I do is, is I'll be talking, I'll be like, oh my God, yeah. Oh, one second, is my phone ringing? I can feel it vibrating. And what you do is, boom. You look down, you can see, if you've got a bogey up your nose, and then you can talk, and then you can be like, yes! <laughs> don't, because I'm getting really nervous now that I've got a bogey. Let me just check. No, I don't, it's cool. Boom! <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm genuinely that person that gets really humiliated and embarrassed thinking that I've got like a bogey. So, two mirrors. One is just clearly not enough. <laughs> you know, when you get caught cool, short. Sure. So, I've got the two mirrors in my bag. Also, I've always got this in my bag. This is probably like the weirdest thing, actually. No, it's not. I like painting. I'm always going into being q and getting fair and ball colours mixed up by being q because I'm a little bit tight like that. I don't want to spend £49 on a tin of fair and ball when now I know that being q mix up the same colours. Some of the lighter colours don't come out exactly the same, so I only tend to stick to like the medium to dark colours because once I've got a light white colour from there, I've got like all white come out pure yellow from being q. So just be aware. And I've also painted my kitchen door in the um. In the, in, the, in the kitchen, obviously it's the kitchen door. Um, but it isn't the outside door, the PVC one, it's the wooden one. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna paint it pink. And I mixed up two tester pots from Farrah and Boyle. It was Middleton pink and pink ground. I mixed them together and it looked beautiful. It was really, really lovely, but it was a matte sort of color. And then I thought, you know what, once I'd done all the walls and everything, and I'd done the, um, the back door, it just looked really powdery. Like it needed like a bit of like a mid sheen or an eggshell. So I went back and got pink ground mixed up, which is sort of like this sort of colour here. But it's come out more like Nancy's blushes, right? which is nice because I really, really like it. You'll see that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But whenever I'm in B&Q, they've never got these in there. So I just like to have my own little like Farron Ball paint chart, just, you know. And actually, Gary was like, you're very sad to have a Farron Ball paint chart in your bag. But I've always had two with me. And one time... I went in there and there weren't none in there and there was a lady and she was opening a new cake shop. She was like, oh, I needed to get this scan. It's gonna to be too much money to go and get it. She's like, oh, and then she was looking over at where the protesters were and she couldn't really see it because it was quite like down a dark aisle, you couldn't see it. And I was like, I've got like a farring ball paint chart in my bag. She was like, have you really? And I was like, I've got two. Like, this might just be gospel now, but I've actually got two. You can actually keep one if you would like. She was like, are you joking? Like, this is amazing. I was like, I know. I went home to Gary and I was just like, I needed that fair and ball paint chart in my bag. He was like, what, to get some paint mixed up? You always get paint mixed up. I was like, no. There was a woman, she was in desperate need. She needed a paint chart. And who had the paint chart? Not just one, I had two paint charts. There could have been two women in, a, in like a conundrum in there. And I'd have still only had one because I still need one in my bag. <laughs> I'm like, share it, guys. Share it amongst yourselves. So I'm lucky Joe down now as well. Yeah, look, I was making that like I'd give both of them away. I wouldn't. This is like gold dust in my hands. This is mine. No one touches this. If my kids are screaming on a bus journey, we're never on the bus. But just for example, and I've got a pen in my bag. I've always got three pens in my bag. Because I've got three kids and they always want to draw and stuff. Um, but I'd be like, no, 
I'd rather them draw on a napkin, but they're not drawing on my fair and warm paint charts. So that stays in my bag as well. I've also got a bag, a bit like a first aid kit. So in my bag, I've showed you the Savlon and the plasters. Always got Savlon and plasters. My Panadol for my headaches. But I've also always got kids' paracet paracetamol. So this is just the Asda one. Reason why this is just as the one is for some reason these crazy people were overbuying toilet rolls, paracetamol, tablets, kids' milk, baby milk, like loads of stuff, including paracetamol. Um, but Alfie, he always gets, as the seasons change, he always gets a really bad cough. But he's had this since he was born. It's basically when the seasons change, he's got like seasonal asthma. So I've also got his little blue pump. I always carry that in my bag. Um, but sometimes he coughs so much, it really hurts his little throat. Um, so I'll give him some like paracetamol. And the only one they had at the time, I do normally like the cow pole. Um, but it was the yes one, it's worked to treat. It's just, just the same really, much cheaper as well. So we've got that, and obviously a little syringe to give it to him. I've always got tissues in my bag. Kids always get snotty noses, so I've always got tissues in my bag. And like I said, I'm always feeling like I've got bogey, so they would always come in handy for me. Also as well, even though I don't stick to Slimming World anymore, I'm really, really going to get back into it. I really want to get back into it. But there are a few things that I've done since being at Slimming World that I've stuck to. So I don't have sugar in my tea anymore. I will always have a sweetener. I will always pick like a... What are they saying? They're playing. I don't know. What... Oh, they're playing nicely. I thought it was raring for me. I thought I was going to have to like go out and start doing timeouts and stuff. Um, but I've always got sweeteners in my bag because I'm very aware that not everyone has sweeteners in their house. Um, and I don't know why this is, whenever I go around someone's house, like a friend's for coffee or tea, it's always when I haven't got these in my bag that they go, oh, I'm sorry, I've got no sweetness. So now I just buy sweeteners and I buy sweeteners for my bag. So they're always in my bag. And I always put them in like this so that I know that this always gets transferred to each bag that I use. A lot of important stuff in there. I've got a selfie stick in there, little Kath Kitson one. This isn't really the one I use. I've got one that's really long. Um, but I took this out. When was we out? When did we go out and I had this bag? trying to think it feels like forever since you've been out isn't it yes we went to the mexican and um, this we went to a mexican restaurant near us with two of our friends and their two children we went out probably i think it was just after alfie's birthday in february and i was taking some like selfies of us as a family so i've got my little selfie stick in there also i got this from home bargains ages ago from one of my hauls actually it was like 59p and it's like a pack of poncho like a rain poncho that has been in my bag since Christmas because I went to the Christmas um, fair, um, like market, Christmas market in Bury St Edmunds, and it was meant to rain. I just thought, you know what? I can use this on that day. But these are like perfect for festivals and camping. But I thought it's a tiny little bowl, and if we're going to get drenched in Bury St Edmunds, I've got to sit in the car on the long journey home, freezing cold, sopping wet. So I thought, if I have this over the top of my coat, then I won't get soaking. I thought that was a really good idea. And obviously this is good for kids as well. So like if you are somewhere and all of a sudden it starts to rain, you haven't got an umbrella with you, you just shroud it over the kids <laughs> till you get to the car or your destination where you need to be. Like every other person, I've got tons of receipts and bits and bobs in my bag. A broken pencil. I've got some coppers. A few little pieces of Lego. That goes without saying. I always have two pairs of socks in my bag all the time. A pair of school ones. And a pair of regular socks. They're not really Millie's colour, but I just think for emergencies. You know, like sometimes when you go out with the kids and they'll like play in a play space and they lose their socks, they come back without their socks. I've always got socks in my bag. I'm very prepared like that. Also, I've got a couple of batteries in my bag. I don't know why they're in my bag. JCB AA batteries. They're not for what you might think they're for. <laughs> no, I've not just kept the batteries and discarded the that. That's all I'm saying. No, these batteries are in there for a reason, and I can't think of why they're in there. Yes, because I was using this bag over Christmas, wasn't I? I keep forgetting it's been locked down. It feels so sunny outside. I'm forgetting, like, the last time I actually went out. It's, like, January, February time. So, yeah, Alfie had, like, a little car, a little remote control car, and the batteries were really rubbish because they're, like, the Panam ones. And um, Gary's now just bought, like, a big packet of them, and they kept running out, so we needed to get some proper batteries. But I still had these to my bag in case it ran out while he was out, so put them in my bag and I've got a light bulb as well I know that sounds really weird it isn't just like when I get faults and I'm just like ping I've got a light bulb or you know someone's light goes out I'm like oh do you know what? I've got a light bulb it's just because I needed to get a new light bulb in here and I'm always forgetful so I'll go right that's a little Edison screw little tiny one you know it's only allowed to have 45 watts as soon as I get into the light bulb section of a shop I'm just like 
like I just lose it. I'm like, right, and I come back, and this is no word of a lie, under my kitchen sink, I will show you when I do the kitchen tour tomorrow, I've got a bag this big, full of light bulbs, that none of them fit in my house. They're like the bayonet ones, because I go to the shop, forget the ones that I actually have, and just buy tons of light bulbs that don't fit in none of my lights. I've got this weird illness where I buy the wrong ones. Oh, they're the ones. <laughs> they're the right ones. So if anyone needs bayonet light bulbs, and we're not even talking like cheap light bulbs, I've got the ones that are like the daylight ones, <laughs> the ultra light energy saving and all that, they're, they're under my sink, which is really annoying. Some of them are like Samsung, just like sticking them under the sink. And I've also always got my sunglasses because I do drive. Um, these are normally, I normally have these, I don't know why I put them in my bag, they're normally in the little section in my car, but obviously I must have needed these at some point after we stopped sort of driving. I look like a blues brother, my face is a bit too wide for sunglasses, I don't really suit sunglasses. Um, these are my Ray-Ban ones, I got these for a birthday a few years ago as well. And Gary says I'm terrible with things, keeping things nice, because these ain't normally in this case. So I dare say Gary's put this, them in the case and then popped them in my bag, because normally they're in a little section in the middle of the car when you're driving and stuff if I need my sunglasses. But this has been a what's in my bag. And obviously I normally have my phone as well. Yeah. That was my contact lens stuff in case I get headaches and stuff. I think I've already said that. I forgot. This video is so long just to show you what's inside my bag. But I wanted it to be a light, nice, light-hearted video to get back into it. Just a nice little chilled one. I hope you're all really well and you're all safe during isolation. And hopefully this has just been like a little break if you wanted to watch it. By all means, if you don't like this, then don't. But if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. And um, yeah, I've been Rosie Henshaw. Take care and thank you for all the lovely, nice comments. And I'm off now. So take care. Catch you tomorrow if you're going to see the kitchen update video. And obviously I've got a few videos coming up. It'd be lovely if you caught up with them as well. So take care. See you later. Bye.